So this time I'm in the staff library and there might be a document in here that I want to share with um, a student or with a member of staff um, who isn't in this department, who doesn't have access to the site. And instead of email the file to them, I can just share this document with them and it'll give them access to this one document, even if they don't have access to, to this library or this site. And to do that, you just select your document, press the share button, and you can type in the person's name. So I can type in Andrew and that will share it with Andrew. Um, you can see across the top here that this link uh, will be editable, so that person can edit the document when they click on the link. If I click on here, I can also turn off allow editing. I can even block download if I don't want them to download the item. You'll also see that there's a number of different types of sharing link. Now, in many cases, you don't need to worry too much about this, but um, I just go through the options. So this one grayed out at the top is disabled for my organization, but that would allow a sharing link to be created that is completely anonymous and can be used by anybody. So it's not the most secure way of sharing, which is why it's been disabled on this site. The next link down is people in my organization with the link can access it. So that means if somebody else was to forward that link to somebody else in the company, they could also use that link to access that document. People with existing access, this doesn't give anybody access at all. It just sends them a link and they'll get access denied if they're not allowed to access that particular document. And then you've got specific people, which is probably the most secure way of sharing, where only the people you specify can click that link. If they forward it to somebody else, it won't work for that other person. So I'm just gonna leave it as standard for general organization. And I can give them a message here so I can say, please review this document, press send, and I'll send that person an email um, with a link to the document with my message in it. And so I can press send and that sends the link out. You might want to create your own email and just chuck a link in, and you can do exactly the same thing uh, just by pressing copy link exactly the same options here we can allow them to edit and choose the different sharing links and i can just copy that link and paste it into my own email that i'm writing myself so both of those options share and copy link do exactly the same thing the only difference is the share button sends an email for you 